you take, let's say, a human being and put him in one of these big, very homogeneous magnetic field magnets, then there's a tendency of that magnetic field to line up the magnetic moments of the nuclei, the spin of the nuclei in the hydrogen in your body, which is in your muscle and in your blood. Now put on a radio frequency pulse, say 60 megahertz or something like that, then you can make this magnetization of your hydrogen nuclei, you can turn it 90 degrees away from the direction of the magnetic field. Your magnetic moment will precess. If you have coils around, pickup coils, they, it will induce a signal. If I want to see where the signal is coming from in your body, I put on another magnetic field on top of the very homogeneous one that's called a magnetic field gradient. By that I mean it makes the field stronger in one place and weaker in another place. What you do in order to actually get the image that you want, the fine resolution that you need, is you put on magnetic field gradients of different strengths, a series of pulses. That's why if you get an MRI machine, you hear boom, boom, boom. It's all these pulses that we're putting on with different strengths of magnetic field, perhaps even different directions because we want to get a three-dimensional picture of you. You record all of these data and when you finish you can now use what's called Fourier transform. It's a mathematical technique. You can work back to how strong the signal was in each of these uh, voxels. And so this is how the image is developed.